guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we're, today we're taking a look at Android 8 right here. Now, Android 8 um, is definitely a very good unit. And by very good unit, I mean he's probably the best mana unit. Um, because it, it's very simple. When they're creating these types of characters, right? So this is a character... Essentially, you want to look at it as a character designed to help Kid Goku, which Kid Goku does really need help, right? Just because these teams, Exploding Rage, Dragon Ball Saga, um, Youth, are, are really not that crazy, right? So, I think with these banner units, Dokkan usually wants to go one of two ways, right? We could literally look at Ginyu's banner and use that as a template. So, Ginyu drops, you know, he's one of the most impressive TORs ever. Um, he comes with two banner units. One is a support god, Jason Birder. They're a unit that can give 60% support to Ginyu and have a 50% chance to dodge while rocking 300k plus defense. Very, very, very good, right? That support characters for these, like, new Dokkan fests are very important. Then there's Rakuman Goldo, right? Which is like a defensive god type character. Can really help absorb those hits and then allow Ginyu to kind of, you know, move at full power, spread his wings out, stack up, build up, and just get, you know, really be able to get busy in these fights. Android 8 is like a Raccoon and Goldo, um, in that he gets 20% damage reduction at the start of turn. Then, if there's a Kid Goku on the turn, he gets another 30% damage reduction. And then after five turns, he gets up to 80% damage reduction. So... Just hit turn 5 and you have 80% damage reduction is very good. Um, that works very well in all these big red zone fights. This, I think, is a perfect character to release alongside Kid Goku. I think, you know, Kid Goku is going to be good regardless because you'll be able to rock him on big teams like Movie Heroes, um, Pure Saiyans, Goku Family, right? Those types of teams, Goku's going to crush. Bond of Friendship as well. But Android 8, man... Kid Goku and Android 8, I, I, they really are going to help out Pan, I think, quite a bit. I, I, I actually feel a lot more confident in Pan's team, I think, with now Android 8 and Kid Goku sort of existing as well. So, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's take a look. Um, So, okay, so Android 8, let, let's just quickly go over what he does. So, he gets 50% attack on his super attack effect. No defense, but he's got the huge amount of damage reduction. It doesn't really matter, right? Um, He gets 80% attack and defense start a turn. Then another 80% attack and defense... Uh, with Kid Goku in the same turn, and then another 80% attack and defense for five turns after he receives an attack, right? Um, and then again, he gets that extra damage reduction uh, once he uh, five turns pass, right? So this is turn two. So not next turn, but the turn after that will have the full damage reduction for him. So at 200k right there, basically at the start of turn, uh, member Android 8 gets hit once, you know, Hachan or 8 or Android 8, right? Whatever. It's the same thing. But after we get this one hit right here, that's going to build up that attack and defense quite a bit for him for the next couple of turns, right? So I think that this guy is going to be exceptional. Um, uh, that's that's it, I, like right? Like I, I I think that this Android Eight is just going to be a really really crazy powerful character. Um, I I see Android Eight and this kid Goku like as a rotation. They are easily strong enough. To crush all these fights, Cell Max, Red Zone Broly, Red Zone Metal Cooler Core, all of it. I, I, I think that they're going to be able to just, again, destroy it pretty much all. Uh, and it's, it's funny, I've been talking recently about how I, I do think a, a lot of, like, the concept of, like, um, rotations is, like, sort of dead, right? Like, I, I feel like in many situations... You're not really, like, necessarily using rotations in these big fights. You have to kind of adapt. You have to be able to float characters off, put a character in this spot, put a character in this spot. I think that's why Kid Goku's going to be very good, because he could be very versatile. But so can Android 8, right? I think Android 8 and Kid Goku, they could hit in any of the three spots on rotation. Or we could just actually run them as a rotation. They are a combo that we could run as a rotation and i think that's going to be very good um so with kid goku right android 8 we have several links active they did make sure that these characters link up pretty well which is really good so his link set is gentleman android assault in fighter he has tough as nails okay tough as nails got into the dragon balls incredible adventure and fierce battle member at tough as nails that is a damage reduction link right and a huge amount of defense as well 
Um, okay, so I'm just trying to think about this on Kid Goku's team. So Kid Goku is Exploding Rage, Dragon Ball Saga, um, and you. Um, okay. So, I mean, we're not really going to be able to take advantage of this there. I mean, I guess on the Android team, we could, right? On the Android team, I suppose we could run, like, 16. Although 16 needs, like, Cell Saga characters, right? Hmm, interesting. Um, this Link is so powerful, but usually you're not going to have the actual characters necessary to activate that, right? Okay, so that's a bit unfortunate. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Now, let's see. So, Kid Goku, right? His support, he, member is giving two key and 50% attack and defensive support to Android 8 right here. That's a huge thing we do want to keep in mind, right? That Kid Goku is giving 50% um, and creating the rainbow orbs. And member, with Kid Goku, if we get seven key spheres... He gives all allies 8% uh, chance to crit and 8% damage reduction. So you could begin to get ridiculous, right? Where Android 8, right? You know, he's going to be able to have his 80% damage reduction after five turns, which is so crazy. But with the 80% damage reduction, we could jump it up to 88% if we just get seven orbs with Kid Goku, right? So we hit this, bam, there we go. So now Android 8 gets an extra 8% damage reduction. I am really liking this combo. This feels... Uh, nothing super negative against Pan here, right? Uh, you know, I'm not, not trying to downplay Pan. I think Pan is pretty good. But, like, this is just such a better release, I think, than Pan. Because it's like... Pan is like, you know, Kid Goku level or something like that, right? I like Goku's design better than Pan. But, like, they're both, like, you know, some of the best TURs in the game, for sure. But the difference is they give Pan, Trunks, and Giru, who, while they're a solid character, I certainly would not call them, like, a massive L or anything like that. They're not, like, a god, right? The Trunks and Giru. But Android 8 is, is a god, right? He's, like, we're easily able to take Android 8 and he can dominate the entire game, right? Like, Android 8, you know, next turn, we're going to have um, his full damage reduction up. Uh, we're easily going to be able to tank, like, Cell Max, dude. Android 8, type disadvantage, he'll be tanking Cell Max. Like, Android 8 is going to be sort of... As long as you have a Kid Goku around, Android 8 is going to be able to function a little bit as, like, a AGL Golden Frieza, right? So it's like, they gave him a ton of damage reduction, but they just made it a little bit conditional. I don't really have a problem with that, right? So the two conditions Android 8 has to have is Kid Goku, and then five turns or more... I think Android 8, like, he'll be solid for the Android Android team, too. Um, even, you know, without a Kid Goku around, he's able to get up to 50% damage reduction. That's still pretty solid, right? Um, he'll lose some stats again not having Goku around, but I feel like he potentially could help, like, the Android team. This Android 8, to me, seems like a very good release. I'm actually very pleased um, with this Android 8, man. I, I, I think he's really good. Um, this is what we need, right? Not a banner unit that's there to do damage, right? But we want, like, a defensive, like, beast. Either a defensive god or a support god. One of the two. Trunks and Giru, sure, they do give support. But I just feel like they, they, should, they deserve to have even more, right? Like, it's like they are able to give Pan that 70% support buff. I feel like Trunks and Giru would have been way better if their passive was just 50% support. But then they had, you know, an extra... 400k defense or something like that it would just be i think such a stronger character overall um i remember our defense was lowered by that vegeta last turn um but yeah that's it i mean dude android 8 right um i'm very excited for these units to come out um i can see like this rotation right here will be able to sweep everything right goku and android 8 right here this is this is a very powerful combo i think dokkan um they knock yeah get that boot bitch <laughs> i love that yeah, Android 8, Tachan, my boy, Aider, he is cooking. Yeah, he looks pretty good. So let me know what you guys think of Android 8. But again, like, you know, once you get five turns in, that extra damage reduction kicks in. Like, it's GG, dude. 80% damage reduction on a character with 400k defense? Like, what do you think? What do you, what do you think is going to happen, huh? 
And then, you know, if we take a look at his um, passive too, don't forget, he does also have this other ability down here, which is um, he gets the, like, Whis Sen or, like, Senzu type ability. So after five turns, right, he gets the extra 30% damage reduction, but he also recovers 80% HP once if your HP falls below 20%. So if you manage to, you know, get to that very low level of HP, and then Android 8 will fully heal you, that's crazy. I guess that's to sort of emulate the fact that maybe he gets revived by Shenron at the end of the movie. Like, that's what Goku uses as a wish, maybe. But, yeah, pretty impressive. Um, a, a unit with 80% damage reduction, that's what we need. They're going to drop bosses that are supering us for 1.8 million? Well, good news. Uh, we now have a character that has 80% damage reduction. So, let me know what you guys think of Android 8, but uh, this boy is pretty damn good.